Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with the Vine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Wayne Fryer in McClendon, Florida. We are gonna to be touring the Westchester. The Westchester is a four bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section double wide manufactured home. It is 2,280 square feet and it is a 32 by 76. And this model is by Town Homes. Now, I just want to get y'all a really good feel of the outside real quickly. You have your um, dorm, your uh, dormer above there. Now, I'm not sure exactly sure what that, that material is called, but this is very nice though. And you'll also have your siding at right there as well. And also you would have your um, black trimming around the windows and the door. This home has a really, really Southern, true Southern feel. All right, so before we go inside, let's go, let's take. A, I'm gonna get you a good feel around the outside of the home. You guys are really are in for a treat today with this home. This is a beautiful, gorgeous home. So of course, this will be the rear elevation of your home. All right, so let's go inside and let's see what the Westchester has to offer. Uh, if you are new here and if this is your first time here, my name is Steven. I do manufactured modular home tours and I also do general manufactured home information videos. I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. Welcome, we are happy to have you here. And please feel free to like and drop a comment down below. So without further ado, let's go inside and let's see what the Westchester has to offer. You have a nice foyer right here. Of course, you have space for your entry table. You also will have space to hang up your coats, your car keys, or, you know, whatever you have, you know, take a load off, get comfortable. Hey, you guys are at home. Okay, so that's your foyer. All right, so let's take a look at this beautiful living room. Look at this living room. Look at this gorgeous living room. This living room is a truly a, a place for family gatherings. Wow, look at this. Look at that beautiful tray ceiling. Look at the accent color on the tray ceiling. Look at the recessed lighting and can lights. Look at these beautiful wood floors. I mean, they have the full furniture package in here, you guys, the full furniture package. And of course, right here, you have your gas fireplace. Oh, wow, look at this, look at this. Look at that, it's, it really, really sets it off. 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm just excited about this. Um, I'm trying to take all this in. So bear with me here. <laughs> bear with me. Okay, so you have your entertainment center. You have your um, shiplap wood paneling wall right there above the fireplace, the electric fireplace. I imagine you would have room for like a 65 inch flat screen TV. You'll definitely have room for one. And of course you'll have your side cabinets as well. This is a really gorgeous living room. You have the beautiful crown molding. Uh, you would have the um, granite like uh, mantle on either side of the entertainment center. You have these things right here in the windows, these window treatments. That gives a very custom feel. And, um, if, and all you have to do is add some curtains and you'll be good to go. But hey, me personally, I mean, I'll do it either way. I could do curtains or not add curtains. This is really nice, you guys. Now, of course, you would have your um, air vents in the ceiling throughout the home, as you would see right there. And I tell you guys, these floors are solid. They don't move at all. They're very solid. I mean, this house is so big. I mean, my voice is literally echoing in here. So, okay, so you have uh, cabinets on either side of the entertainment area. So you would have an island right here. So you got space right here to entertain more guests and more family. You know, you can sit right here at the at the counters like, like hey hey give me a cup of coffee or give me some champagne you know something something of that nature <laughs> you know something of that nature so um you know that's at least that's what i would do so hey you know we could have a little fun in these videos so all right so you got um a more additional store space on the other side okay Boy, you know, this is a really nice area. I could spend all day in here. I really could. Okay, so before we go check out the kitchen and the rest of the house over there, let's go check out the bedrooms and stuff over here first. So right here, this would be your long hallway. Your nice long hallway. Okay, let's see what we have first here. So this would be your hallway guest bathroom. All right, we got electricity. So this would be your um, hallway guest bathroom. Again, I love the wood flooring. Again, you guys, if you're not exactly sure, this is called the Westchester. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section, double wide by Town Homes. You got double sinks right here. I really love the uh, towel backsplash. Hello, everybody. You would have your um, you have your um, nice big mirror right here. You got the uh, wood trim around the mirror. You have your can recess lights in the ceiling, and you also would have uh, storage space right here too. So you got one, two, and three. You got plenty of storage space. You guys see that? Plenty of storage space. Okay, so over here you would have your area for your commode and your full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Get y'all a slow pan here. Again, they carry the beautiful crown molding in, the, in this part of the house as well. All right. And of course, there's your full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Very easy to maintain, very easy to keep clean. And of course, you would have your transom window as well. I get you all a view from this angle. 
So this is how it will look from this angle, looking into the rest of the bathroom. All right. And of course, there is your shower head. Have natural light coming in while you're taking a shower or a bath. All right, so let's go check out the rest of the house, you guys. All right, so this is your first guest bedroom on this side of the house. Let's check it out. I try to keep these rooms very brief. So we do have a lot to cover. So we'll get you a view from another angle. Plenty of space in this bedroom, you guys. All right, so let's take a look at the closet. They go around slowly, so I don't make you sick, so. <laughs> All right, so here's your closet. Now, I'm sorry, there's no electricity in here, so. But you, you can, it's, it's enough for light where you can actually see it, though. Okay, very nice closet. Let's go check out the other bedroom. So this will be your second guest bedroom. Now, as you would notice, this home has a full tape and textured sheetrock throughout. So, no, this feels just like a, a regular house on the inside. Wow, this carpet is actually very nice and plush. Very nice and plush. You know, especially after you're doing a lot of walking, you know, when you're doing mobile home tours like I'm doing. So <laughs> I, figure I, I figure I'd mention that. All right, so this is your other bedroom. You got natural light coming in. Now, excuse all that. That's the extra accessories that come with the house. You know, they have to have some place to put this stuff when they're, um, you, know, you know, before the home is sold. But when the home is sold to the customer, all that, all the extra trim will be put in place. All right, so let's take a look at the closet. All right, so let's take a look at over here in this space. Before we check out the utility room, we're going to check out the other bedroom. Now, right there, that'll be your central heat and air conditioning right there. So your central heat and air run right through there. I'm trying to get you all a better view, get you an idea. And I, got, I wish you guys are really able to be here in person like I am. I mean, this phone, this phone camera does not do it justice at all. So it really doesn't. But you know, I do try to show, show these homes the best of my ability for you guys, so. But you're definitely welcome to come out and visit. But I'll put a deal's address down in the description box below if you'd like to do an in-person visit. All right, so this is the other bedroom. All right, we got light, all righty, so. Plenty of space, let's try to keep this brief. Try to get us a little slow pan to get you all an idea of how of the size of the room again i'm not exactly sure of the sizes or dimensions but i'll put it in the description box if you would like to um i mean i'll put it in i'll insert the sizes in the video all right so here is the closet adequate space for this closet All right, so let's check out this um, space over here before we go check out the master. So right here will be your utility room. As you can see, you would have a sink right there. All right, we got light, all right. So there's your utility room. You got your soaker sink. You can soak um, intimate stuff. You can soak linens or whatever you have to soak, so. And you got plenty of space for um, folding laundry after doing the laundry. And I love the fact that they carry the backsplash in this area, too. 
to give you all the sample of the cabinet space. Okay. All right, so over here, now this is a first. Now this is usually covered up. The water heater panel is covered up, but now you could actually see the space where your water heater is. So when you take off the panel, your water heater is located right behind here. So this really gives you a very good idea of how your water heater would look. So when you put this panel on, it's out of sight, out of mind. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Maybe it's something to do with a water heater, but it's my lucky guess. Anyway, let's take a look over here. All right, so you have your cabinet space right here for storage. Storage space. Of course, you have a, you have a space for your washer and dryer right there. Though when all that's moved out of the way, you'll be able to put your dryer right there. You have your back door. Now this one, just like the um, other model that we toured, I'll put the link up in the iCard above for that model if you want to go take a look at it. But this model would also would have, well, no, um, correction. This actually would be on the back of the house. I was thinking of the side entrance, but this would be on the back. Okay, so right here, you'll definitely have a space for your um, big, big chest size freezer. And you'll also have your electric box. Overall, this is a very nice size utility room. Very nice size. Very impressive. So over here is your beautiful kitchen area. So this is your beautiful kitchen, you guys. Look at this. You have your tray ceiling. You have your center island. You have stainless steel appliances. I really love the tray ceiling here. It gives it a very luxurious feel. And you have a beautiful um, pendant light or chandelier. Of course, you have your cabinet space. But you know, I know some of you complain about the video being too long. I just want to clarify something. You know, this video has different chapters in it. You know, you can fast forward or you can rewind the video to your liking. So I just want to clarify that. So if you want to get to the very end, you're welcome to do so. You know, however you want to do it. But you know, in all honesty, this is my way of sharing the mobile home tours. So with that being said, you have your dishwasher over here, of course. Of course, you have your um, stainless steel sink with a gooseneck faucet. We've seen it like you've seen in many other of my videos. And this looks right over into the family room. You know, you can put fresh hors d'oeuvres or, you know, whatever you want to put up here. And it looks right over into that beautiful living room. All right, let's see what's over here. I'm not exactly. Let's check out the drawer space and then we'll see what's right there. So this would be your drawer space. Got plenty of space right there. Farmhouse local. Very nice touch. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention you also have your tile backsplash here, too. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look, look here. You have a lazy Susan. You have a lazy Susan. Now, I remember when I toured the Saddlebrook about a year and a half ago, you know, I didn't even know what this was called. But, you know, many of you have let me know that's a lazy Susan. So you have your um, space. It's for your dining room. Let me get you all a good look at this. Got plenty of space in the dining room right here. Overall, this is a very impressive dining room. Again, you have your shiplap wall right here. Of 
All right. That's a very nice, impressive kitchen space. All right, so with that being said, let's go check out the master. But before we do that, if you are new here, I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. We are very happy to have you here, and please feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps with the algorithm of this channel. And again, thank you. All right, with that being said, here is the master bedroom. You have your beautiful master bedroom. You got plenty of space in this master. Nice size space for a king size bed. And I really like the fact that they have the uh, tray ceilings as well in here, as well as the um, you know, living room space. And you have these nice um, boxes right here. It gives it a very elegant touch. Another view of the master. All right, so let's go check out the master bathroom. This is your master bathroom. Sorry guys, it is dark in here, so some areas have electricity, some areas don't, so. But this is your master bathroom. You have your sink right here. Love the pendant lights above the sink. Love the transom window. And I love the shiplap that's surrounding it as well. Get y'all a good look. All right, so over here is your tub, your beautiful garden tub. That is so true, relax and renew. That's something you definitely have to do after a long stressful day. And of course up there you have your beautiful uh, ship lap as well. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. So right here, you would have a space for your commode. So you have a, a water closet for your toilet. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the shower right here. You have your beautiful walk-in tiled shower. Of course, your shower head will go right there, but that will be installed when, they're, when the home is purchased. So, as you can see, you got plenty of space in this walk-in shower. Let's take a look. Yeah, definitely gives you a good idea. It goes slowly here, and this really gives you a great idea of how much space you would have. And again, I love the tile. I really love the tile work. All right, let's go check out this. Of course, there's your closet. I'm sorry it is dark, but hopefully you can see it decently enough. You got plenty of uh, shelving around there. All right, you guys, well, let's go back into the living room and let's uh, close out the video. If you guys are interested about inquiring or purchasing this manufactured home, any information that I would have will definitely be down in the description box. This dealer will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Well, you guys, it's time to go on to the next house tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured, modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care, have a wonderful day. Thank mm -hmm. you.